Given Ethiopia's extensive natural beauty, which extends back more than three million years, and its extensive cultural legacy, which spans more than three million years, construction is one of the country's main industry sectors and, by some estimates, the second largest employer after agriculture. Ethiopia is a fascinating country that is on track to see revolutionary growth because of forward-thinking development measures. So if you want to know the mega projects of Ethiopia, then subscribe to Grand Projects. Also like, share, and hit the bell icons. Number 1. Commercial Bank of Ethiopia Headquarters when it was finished on February 13, 2022, the Commercial Bank of Ethiopia headquarters, a skyscraper in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, surpassed all previous records for height. The largest bank in the nation, the government-owned Commercial Bank of Ethiopia, has its headquarters there. Additionally, it is the tallest structure in all of East Africa. The structure was formally opened in February 2022 to commemorate the Commercial Bank of Ethiopia's 80th birthday. The structure has 52 stories, two podiums of five stories, and two 20-meter deep underground parking garages. Its height is 198 meters. The building's architecture features 150,000 square meters of floor space, 46 above ground stories, a mezzanine level, and a ground floor for subterranean levels. Eight meeting rooms, a disaster prepared waiting area, two restaurants on the top two levels, and a viewing tower are all part of its layout. Number 2. Laguerre Project Eagle Hill's master-planned community, Laguerre, honors the history of the city by being situated in the center of Addis Ababa in the historic setting of the Laguerre train station. The rehabilitation of the area will further boost the economy and revive a center that people will always remember because of its rich historical backdrop. A metro line runs along Laguerre's northern border, and it is easily accessible from the Addis Bowl International Airport. Laguerre, one of the largest integrated lifestyle communities of its kind in Ethiopia, has more than 4,000 homes spread across more than 360,000 square meters. Commercial hospitality, retail, and recreational attractions, all located in a gated community around a green park, enhance residents' quality of life and stimulate the local economy. Laguerre is the ideal live-work-play destination that gives the greatest priority to the health of its residents and guests. It functions as a new city hub with superior infrastructure and lifestyle amenities because of its lush parks, pedestrian-friendly streets and lanes, and distinctive zoning of the various components. Number 3. Addis Ababa Airport Ethiopia's capital city, Addis Ababa, has an international airport called Addis Ababa Bole International Airport. It can be found in the Bole district, 65 kilometers north of Bisoftu and 6 kilometers southeast of the city center. Haile Selassie International Airport was the previous name of the airport. It serves as the primary hub for Ethiopian Airlines, the country's flag carrier, which offers non-stop service service to Asia, Europe, North America, and South America, in addition to destinations throughout Africa and Ethiopia. The Ethiopian Aviation Academy is based at the airport as well. With approximately 22 million passengers served each year, the airport is the busiest in the nation and among the busiest in Africa. The airline is the largest and fastest growing in terms of both passengers and cargo on the continent. It delivered more than 432,000 tons of cargo and 12 million passengers in 2019, bringing in more than $4 billion. In an effort to consolidate, it also keeps spreading its roots around the globe. Daily the airline supplies a thriving hotel sector in and around Addis Ababa. As they transit through the nation's capital, Addis Ababa, hundreds of travelers are accommodated in hotels. Number 4. Addis Ababa Library in a ceremony officiated by the project's instigator, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, it was formally opened in January 2022. It is Ethiopia's largest library, having been constructed at a cost of more than $303.5 million and measuring 19,000 square meters. 
Abrahot, which in Amharic means enlightenment, is situated in front of the Ethiopian Parliament building. Zias Design International PLC was responsible for creating the structure. The facility, which is 1,900 square meters, took nearly two years to build. The four-story building, which houses the nation's largest public library, has 1.5 kilometer long shelves that can hold 1.4 million books and can seat more than 2,000 visitors at once. If you subscribe to our channel, we will offer you two flight tickets to Ethiopia. You can go and visit it in your dreams. Just kidding. The next project is really amazing, though. Want to see it? Number 5. Bank of Abyssinia for the building of its new corporate headquarters, BOA secured a deal with China State Construction and Engineering Corporation. The future BOA headquarters building idea resembles a vertical metropolis that can accommodate all needs while providing visitors with a unique experience. The tower building, according to the bank, will be the tallest structure in East Africa, measuring 270 meters in length and covering 9,700 square meters of land close to Mexico Square often known as the Financial District. There are 60 floors in the main tower, four stories below ground and 56 floors above it. The majority of the underground services are located in a mechanized parking space. Vehicle lobby, equipment rooms and vault at the very top of the tower building lies the Sky Garden. Number 6. Grand Renaissance Dam Mele Sonawi, the then Prime Minister of Ethiopia, laid the cornerstone for the largest water dam on the African continent on April 2, 2011. So was born the magnificent Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. The dam, which Ethiopia spent $4.8 billion building, is only 15 kilometers from the border with Sudan. The dam began generating power in February 2022, and when it is fully operational, it will be able to generate 6,500 megawatts of power. Since Ethiopia began construction on the massive $4.8 billion dam in 2011, the dam has been at the heart of a regional conflict. Number 7. Defense State of Art The Ethiopian Ministry of Defense opened its brand new cutting-edge headquarters last year in the presence of the Prime Minister and other top government officials. Addis Ababa is home to the Ethiopian National Defense Force headquarters, which also houses the country's Joint Chiefs of Staff and Ministry of Defense. More than 700 offices are housed at the ministry's five-floor headquarters, which is located in the capital on 13 hectares of land and as conference rooms, libraries, research institutes, and well-equipped data centers, among other amenities. Number 8. Addis Ababa's Abwa Zero Kilometer Mega Project The Ottawa Zero Kilometer Mega Project, which is being built next to Emperor Menelik II, has reached a critical level of 75% completion, according to an announcement from the Addis Ababa City Administration. The the project's structural work is now complete. The project is anticipated to be the largest of its kind in the nation and will include multi-purpose buildings like the Ottawa Memorial Museum, an amphitheater, libraries, and youth facilities. Number 9. Museum of Science and Technology A scientific and technological wonderland has been unveiled on top of the slope leading up to the National Palace, a circular large dome-shaped building next to the House of Curiosity. Until October 2022, and work was just about to be completed under the strict supervision of the Office of the Prime Minister, the museum offered free admission to the general public. The museum's circular design design is intended to symbolize human intelligence and ongoing evolution, and it demonstrates Ethiopia's dedication to the advancement of technology. The museum is perched attractively atop the hill, and its grounds total 6.78 hectares. To further develop Ethiopia's rich indigenous understanding of science, art, and contemporary technology advancements, the recently opened Science Museum will be utilized. Which one was your favorite? Do comment below. Also, hit the subscribe, like, and bell icons. Bye!